Okay, hi everybody. So in this little video here, we're going to take a look at an example of sum and difference of cubes factoring. And so what we've got here is a, a really straightforward, kind of fairly typical difference of cubes. Um, so x cubed minus minus uh, 64. And remember that 64, whoops, sorry, as soon as I said it, I wrote it here. 64 is going to be the same as 4 cubed. And so now this is going to fall into that pattern. And this is kind of a pattern, just like the, the difference of squares, this is kind of a pattern that you really want to just memorize here, okay? So when you've got uh, this difference of, of cubes here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the cube root and we're going to subtract the cube root. So x minus 4. And then the way the pattern goes is we're going to take that first term and we're going to square it. So x squared. The, the middle term here, we're going to change the sign. So it's going to be plus. We'll multiply these two together. So 4x. So again, just to say this, it's the first term squared, then it's the product of these two. Then over here, we're going to add 16, which is going to be that second term uh, there squared. And there we go. That is that is the, the factoring that we're looking for. This x minus 4 multiplied by x squared uh, plus uh, 4x plus 16. Now, I just want to demonstrate to you that that is, in fact... Uh, equal to x cubed minus uh, 64. So let's take a quick look at this. x minus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 16. So I'm going to distribute this. So we're going to distribute the x to all three of those terms here. So I'm going to get x cubed plus 4x squared plus 16x. And then I'm going to distribute the negative 4 to the three terms there. So it'll be negative 4x squared, uh, negative 16x, and then minus 64. And then you can probably see it happening right there, that 4x squared minus the 4x squared, the 16x minus the 16x, and then we are left with x cubed minus 64. And there you go. That's, that's that pattern uh, working. So it helps just to memorize, memorize what that pattern is and just be able to apply it when you need to.